Here we go, a cold cathode fluorescent light made in 1951. It's, um, I saved it, it was pulled out of a industrial King's radio there. <coughs> I rescued it from an engineering shop, it was pulled out of service. As you can see, these tubes here are just held in by spring contacts. So it's just like a neon sign tube, except just a lot bigger, a lot longer. These things are 8 foot long. Looks like the tube's wiggling, but it's not, it's actually the springs poke him back in. There we go. Right, let's fire him up and see what he does. Turns on just like an incandescent light. You can see a little bit of swirling of the arc there on this tube here. I shall say the one on this side is a replacement. It's made by Consolite. Not too sure how old the tubes are. This one's completely unmarked. Yeah. Ballast unit or transformer is fitted on top of the fitting. This here is the neutral side, and you've got the high voltage side down over here. A yeah. little bit quicker to start up than one of these preheat fixtures, which was also made in the 50s. Let's see it start up again. So it starts up just like an incandescent. Here we have it. Tubes are just eight, over 8 foot long and 18,000 volts to supply them. Let's get the end shot at the fitting. Oop, trip on the insulator.